you should consider genetic testing if you have a reasonable likelihood, if you know that you have multiple affected family members, especially at a younger age, that if there is a specific genetic test that can be interpreted properly in the context of your personal history and your family's history, those are important. Empowerment is really important to me as a primary care doctor. I want to be in real partnership with my patients to help them feel like active participants in their own health care so that they can make the best choices. That mother mentioned that the Oncotype DX test helped her daughter make a good treatment choice about how to manage her breast cancer. Knowing your genetic changes that might contribute to breast cancer risk can also help you make good choices. But here's the point that I think Kim would really agree with me on. I think hopefully she agrees with everything I've said so far because we worked on these slides together. <laughs> testing is really only good if we do it with pre and post counseling. So you have to understand even before you make the decision to get the test what the implications are of getting the test. What does it mean to get this test? What does it really tell you? Just because you have the gene mutation doesn't mean you're guaranteeing that you're going to have breast cancer. A 50 to 85 percent lifetime risk is certainly much higher. Kim mentioned earlier that the average risk is mm, maybe even now going down to somewhere between 10 and 12 percent, but that's much lower, obviously. But it doesn't mean a guarantee. So it's just important for people to understand what the information really means, both before and after they get the testing. Hmm. Um, so. The benefits, as I said, have help in, involve helping women get lots and lots of information that let them make choices about their own health care. And I really think that's so important. We have to be involved and engaged as patients in our own health care. Lisa did that when she chose to pursue genetic testing, when she asks questions about her sister, which, by the way, would still, I would still recommend that she talk to a genetic counselor, Lisa, if she hasn't already. Okay. Um, because I think that can be helpful there, just to circle back to that question you asked earlier. Okay. Um, and knowing the information can help you make important choices about your own health care down the road. And I always think that that information, knowledge is power, right? Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what the situation is in your family's case, in your personal case, you can't make active choices for yourself. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.